Welcome back, everyone. My name is London Jador, and I'm back with you to do your daily tarot reading for Monday, March 30th, 2015. I've picked three cards from the Vanessa Tarot by Leonard Narciso to give me a depiction of the energies that we can expect for this upcoming Monday. I have an Archangel Power Tarot card to give me an overall feel of the energies for this upcoming Monday. And I have a daily guidance from your spirit guides and um, angels to give me spirit guide messages and angel messages for this upcoming coming Monday. So we're going to get started, guys. The first card that we have from the Vanessa Tarot for Monday's Energies is the Temperance card, Upright. The Temperance card really shows this young woman who is a bartender. She's really mixing the drink, so to speak, to come up with the perfect drink for you. <laughs> and um, this card is talking about moderation, balance, you know, emotional and mental balance, really um, grounding yourself if you've really um, been in your head about some things, but and really balancing your emotions, you know, having that self-control, having that strength within yourself to, you know, be calm um, when dealing with problems. And this card is also talking about, you know, um, middle ground, so to speak. And it can also be talking about testing um, new water, so to speak in your life and having balance while you're testing these new waters in your life. So that's a really amazing card. It's really telling you to be balanced in the things that you're working on. The next card that we have from the Vanessa Tarot is the King of Wands in Reverse. Let's take a look at her upright. The King of Wands really shows this middle-aged woman who's sitting on this throne. She's really waving hi to us, hi. And um, the King of Wands energy is a fire sign. You know, she's motivated. She's She has that passion to overcome the obstacles that she's dealing with. She's confident. She's bold. She's creative. She The kings of the King of Wands really reminds me of like a singer or an actor who is really good at their profession. And this person and creates excitement. You know, this person is a leader. She's assertive. She's willing to take chances when the stakes are high. And she's unconcerned with what other people think. You know, she has that courage and bravery in her own convictions. I mean, she doesn't really care what other people think. And with this in reverse, it's letting us know that that's the energy that we need to tap into. We need to tap into that fiery, brave energy where we're not so concerned with what other people think. And we're just, you know, we're um, going after the things that we feel motivated motivated to go after. We're confident and bold. So it's telling you to tap into your confidence, tap into that passionate side in, in yourself to go after the things that you're working on. Tap into that, um, ex that excitement within yourself and be a leader, you know, be assertive, go after the things that you want to accomplish and really be balanced when going, um, going after these things, really have that balance within yourself, have that self-control within yourself to really go after the things that you want to accomplish and get those things done. The last card that we have from the Vanessa Tarot is the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords is really the problem. And the Nine of Swords is all about worry and stress and anxiety. You know, the with it being the nine, it's really the final stages of the stress, but it's all about negative thinking. It's all about ego-based fears appearing real and, you know, um, doubting all will go well and, you know, despair and sleepless nights. She, this woman shows her head. She's, you know, she's really in bed, as you can see. And she's just really being capped up in the middle of the night by these worries, these thoughts of um, negativity. And these sores are really... um sitting in her window, as you can see. And so she's really stressed out and she's in a place of despair. So this energy, this worry energy, this fearful energy has been something that has been really strong. This uh, this energy has been really strong for um, a lot of people, especially today, Monday and yesterday, Sunday, because yesterday the reading was va about vacuuming away fear, about, um, you know, staying on course with the things that you want to accomplish and not letting fear interrupt. And what this is really telling you in this reading is to really let go of these fears, ground your emotions and your um, your mental thoughts around this situation. It's telling you to be brave and telling you to go after the things that you want to accomplish. Be assertive. Even if the stakes are high and there's some worry around this situation that maybe things won't work, all, um, work out well for you, it's telling you that they will. It's 
telling you to let go of this stress. And I'm being really, um, I'm really pushing hard with this because this has been an energy that has been um, really plaguing a lot of people and not only just a lot of people, even myself. So it's telling you to really let go of these stresses, let go of these worries around this situation, balance your emotions, balance um, every aspect of yourself that you're really needing to balance because you're a little bit out of um, balance right now. And it's telling you to, you know, really balance your um, emotions, have that moderation, and have that self-control within yourself and that calmness to deal with the problems that you're dealing with and be brave when dealing with these problems. And don't let these stresses and worries um, really dictate um, your decisions and what you want to move forward in because you can be victorious in this situation. But it's telling you that, you know, you really need to let go of the worries because the worries tend to keep people stuck. They tend to, tend to Keep, keep people in a, a predicament that they don't want to be in. And it's telling you to go after the things that you want to accomplish. Be bold and not let these worries and stresses get the best of you because you're able to be successful in these things. But it's going to take for, for you to be balanced and grounded. The overall energy that we have for today is Leap of Faith, which is the full card with Archangel Metatron. And it says, believe in yourself, listen to your heart and do what gives you joy. And this is really amazing because this is really talking about believing in yourself and not letting these worries and stresses, these self-fulfilling prophecies get the best of you. It's telling you to listen to your heart and go with what um, your higher self is telling you to do. Take that leap of faith and know that Archangel Metatron is with you. You have the spirit realm with you, um, guiding you to where you need to be. You see Archangel Metatron right here in the back of him, guiding this person onto this new path or this new things that they're working on. But it's telling you that you need to have balance. You need to... Um, you need to balance your emotions around this situation. And really, you need to tap into that bravery. We have the King of Wands in reverse, which means there's a block to that energy. And it's telling you that you need to be willing to take those chances so that they can pay off for yourself. And not to be um, stressed out about this worry and this... Um, um, you know, these mental difficulties really come out of your head and ground your emotions, ground your mental processes and move forward with the things that you're try trying to accomplish with a bold and fiery energy within yourself. The angel guidance and spirit guide guidance that we have for today is trustworthy guidance. And I want to first let you guys know that when I was shuffling this deck, this deck first, this card popped out first and then I reshuffled and then it came out again so this means that this is a very very strong energy and it says trustworthy guidance it says you received a wonderful wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers this idea is real and trustworthy you can safely move forward with it knowing that you are knowing that we are with you every step of the way ask for and be open to receiving our support for anything that you need related to this idea I love this card this card really shows the angel who is helping this man work on his um, hobbies or whatever he's working on. And it's, it, it's also letting you know that this guidance that you're working on, these things that you're embarking on are trustworthy. You can um, trust in them. And that's what it's talking about with this card right here. The This full card is telling you to believe in yourself and listen to your heart, listen to your higher self. And that's what it's saying with this reading. It's telling you to balance your emotions, be courageous, and move forward on these new paths that you have and believe in yourself know that the um, angels are with you and they they sent you this idea because it's an answer of, to your prayers and to move forward with the, this idea it's, it's real and trustworthy and that it's safe to move forward with it. And it's letting you know that you are protected. So move forward with the things that you're working on. Let go of this worry. We're going to turn the nine of swords around. <laughs> We're going to turn it around because you need to let go of this worry around the situation because the worry around the situation is really what's stopping you from moving forward with it, what's stopping you from being courageous and brave and moving forward with this situation. So um, listen to the, the advice from the angels and to move forward. Know that this is something that's trustworthy. Know that these are the answers to your prayers that you're, um, that you're embarking on and really balance your emotions because the things that you're working on, they're good for you. But 
you need to trust in them and believe in yourself that you are able to accomplish these things and know that you can because you can. All right, guys, these are the messages that I have for Monday and I will be back with you for Tuesday's reading. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't already entered the giveaway for Kathleen Gerard's Conquer the Monster book, make sure that you do that because the giveaway ends tomorrow, the 31st. Thanks for watching and I'll be back with you.